Hello. What I'm going to do in this tutorial is demonstrate how to make a hollow tape which will play back an audio file. So it'll be when the player picks it up, puts it in their pit boy, it's going to start, you know, playing a scene that we've defined. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually create a voice type for our hollow tape. So I'm going to go to the voice type tab. I'm going to right click new and I'm just going to call it tutorial underscore voice type the fact that it's male or female doesn't really functionally matter but I usually have it match up the um, the gender of the character I'm gonna have anyway so we're gonna have we're gonna have to now create an NPC to do the talking so we go to actor right click new and the reason we're doing this is so that when we've created the scene um, it's gonna have the name of a person that's actually doing the speaking appear so that'll be where that's defined so I'm gonna call it tutorial underscore Holotape man. I'm gonna call it 74494 after me. We're gonna go into his traits and we're gonna go for the voice type that we made in the previous step tutorial underscore voice type. Okay. And I'm going to save that. Next up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the scene where he's actually going to do the talking. So I'm gonna go to quest and I'm gonna right click new. And I'm going to give it a unique ID, which I'll call tutorial underscore holotape quest. And this still doesn't matter, it doesn't have a name, priority, as long as it's start game enabled. So that, um, that stuff from Merg goes 02. That's happened because I'm, I uh, recorded the uh, original wrong. So I'm starting from scratch. Um, it was a glitch in the recording. So what I'm going to do is, now that I've okayed out and I've got all the access to all the tabs, I'm going to go to Scenes, right click New, and give it a unique ID. So I'm just going to add underscore holotape01 to the end of the thing that it's come up by default. So we're going to need to add the actor that's going to be sort of doing the dialogue. So in this case, we're going to do right click New Actor. And we're just going to select player defaults because the sound is actually going to be coming out of a player. Right click, add phase at end, and that gives us the space now to add the talking that we want to do. Right click again, new action, radio. We actually want it to be a radio, not dialogue. So hit radio, and we're going to get this thing. Right click new, double click into the empty thing, and it pulls up this dialogue. And this is where we're going to have the... Um, this is where we're going to have for sort of what's going to actually be said. So I'm going to say um, this is a holotape recording for a tutorial. Okay, ignore that. Okay, and this has now popped up. The next thing we need to edit is the speaker. So this is going to kind of override who's doing the actual speaking so that it's not uh, considered to be the player. So I'm going to go tutorial underscore holotape man. So now what's going to happen is when this is played, the game will treat it as if holotape man is speaking, not the actual player. So I'm going to hit OK. OK. And you can see there it's got this tutorial underscore holotape man um, beforehand. That means that that is going to be him, but it's doing the speaking. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to record uh, directly into the creation kit for what this audio is going to be. This is probably not the best practice, but it'll do for the sake of this tutorial because I don't know what the quality of this is going to be or anything. So I'm just going to record it. This is a holotape recording for a tutorial. And so now we've got that. It's got a WAV file, yes, in there. So that should be all set up for us there. But what you'd want to do if you were going to manually add it, and I kind of can't because I'm using my audio recording software to record this, is you'd want to go into your Fallout 4 data folder, your sound, your voice folder, find the name of your ESP. In fact, you have to create it. In fact, you won't be able to find it. You'll have to create it, but mine's already been created. And the name of my ESP in this example is namespace tutorial.esp because I'm just using an old file. And then you'd have to create a folder for your voice type, which has already been done, but mine was called tutorial underscore voice type. Record your audio and place it in here. 
and then make sure that you've given it the same ID as your dialog line. So when you're typing in the response, you'll get this file name here. Name your file the same as this. Pop it in that folder structure and that's what you'll get. But in my example, I just recorded directly into the creation kit and it generated all that for me. So now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to actually implement this into a holotape because at the moment you, there's no way to actually listen to it. So if we just search for holotape and don't filter for anything because then you're going to have all this crap. So we're just going to need to pick basically any of these and we're going to edit them. It might be easiest, probably don't edit one of these ones that has a holotape program. We just want to do one that has a holotape prop and give it a unique ID. So tutorial underscore holotape and we're just going to give it a name which will appear in the game. So the ID has to be unique, name can be anything we want. And now it's dead simple. Um, we want the type to be voice, which is already clicked because that was the same as the one that I edited. And we just have to pick up the scene that we made earlier. So mine was called tutorial underscore holotape quest 02 underscore holotape 01. Hit OK. And yes, we want to create a new form and save. And that is everything uh, implemented. So Assuming that my recording directly into the creation kit worked, I'm just going to jump into the game and demonstrate that working. Okay, so here we are in the game, and I've added the tutorial holotape via console commands to my inventory. So it should be in here somewhere. It should be down with the T's because it's called tutorial holotape. Let's see what my voice sounds like. Evidently that recording directly into the creation kit thing didn't work, um, possibly because I'm already using my um, microphone, but you could see there that the text uh, did in fact appear along with my character name, as I said it would, so that is at least something. So uh, hopefully that was uh, useful and hopefully that was clear, but thank you for watching and goodbye.